going on guys? So I just landed in Las Vegas and I took a little shuttle over to a different terminal because Mandy Kennedy is here and I'm gonna surprise her I think. I don't want her to see me. So I'm gonna sneak up on her. I'm gonna get her on camera. I just got to the protein house. It's my first time being here. I've heard like a bunch of stuff about it. Randy recommended it. And how cute is that Buddha? We just appreciate. I want that in my house. Okay. Um, I have one like that. Do you really? Yeah, but it's all on the rock. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So it's much. actually a garden ornament. I know. I yeah. want to get one for my garden. <laughs> that that would be like perfect in my house though. Yeah, it would look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna do the build your own bowl. I'll show you it after actually. So I got a bowl, a build your own bowl with tofu, which is right here, and then I got sweet potatoes, cucumbers, uh, black beans, carrots, and onions, I think. And red peppers, I think that's it. And then I got um, some teriyaki sauce. Don't mind if I do. What did you get, Randy? I got tilapia, um, the sweet potatoes as well, asparagus, tomatoes, and red peppers. Yum. Yeah. Target. Target. <laughs> We are trying to find some healthy snacks for us to bring back I'm to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall over. We found this find. Tell them about the find. Okay, so we found these salted edamame freeze-dried beans, and they have really good macros. 120 calories per half cup, 12 grams of protein, 8 12 grams of fat, grams. 12 grams of protein, and only 5 grams of protein. fat. Usually stuff like that has higher fat. So that's still. So we're gonna get some of that. Already in my bag, and Mine too. we're sporting our uh, our luggage cart right here. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else should we buy? Ooh, chia. Chia. Ooh, turmeric chia. Oh, <gasps> Ashley loves these. Get these for Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. I got you a present. Should we Facetime her? No. It'll be a surprise. Okay. Yeah. Ryan Cruz, look what I found you. Egg substitute. Ryan's allergic to eggs and we've had the hardest time finding stuff that we can bake that's egg free. Oh my god! Yeah! <gasps> Target! <laughs> yes. Look what we found, guys. Pumpkin spice frosted mini wheats and... <gasps> I've always wanted to try this literally for like a year. I'm so excited. <gasps> so Yo, our, our it's corn! It's gluten free! Okay. So our uh, our healthy snack endeavors are going really well. I'm actually gonna eat a lot of this because it's corn. <laughs> I'm so excited. But I, I did I did get chia seeds, so that counts as healthy, right? And granola. Health. Health. <laughs> but then I was seriously contemplating getting this. <laughs> I brought way too that. many clothes. I should have left more room for food. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? We've ended up in the cookie aisle and it's time to come back down to planet Earth. So yeah, we gonna are going to clean up our, our selection. Because we're going to go to Hash House and go go. Yeah. And we're going to eat actual good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're yeah. in Vegas. Why not, right? But we are going to get this still, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes on the Thin Mints. I'm going to say no to this. Okay. Well, what do I eat for breakfast? Yeah, what are you going to eat for breakfast? Oh, you're going to eat these. That's what I'm going to eat. Okay, I'm putting this yeah. back. And this is like a healthy snack. These are healthy. Yes. This is a snack. Keeping that. Do you really need these? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like baby food. <laughs> I think they might be baby food. <laughs> and, okay, uh, do we want to try these? Yes. Yeah, we I want to try them. I, I want to put face masks on and be girly and eat, eat thin these. mints. Yeah. Sounds good. And we're going to get these for Ashley because she needs to gain a few pounds so that she looks, <laughs> we don't look not shredded next to her. Put 
Let's do hash house go go to me so we are gonna get some pancakes and we're gonna be honest this weekend is gonna turn into a foodie weekend because we're like what can we do in Vegas we don't want to go out we don't want to drink we're gonna eat all the food eat all the food <laughs> lift all the weights yep. have all the fun yay yay that's our type of fun anymore because I'm vegetarian. Oh, I'd have right. to get it like a grilled cheese. Yeah, I, I never like it. We are here. Egg whites, and it actually came with crispy potatoes and veggies. And then we're sharing a apple and cinnamon pancake. And I've heard that the pancake is legit, almost as big as this table. Yeah. So. And also, Randy just walked around the whole restaurant, staring at people's food. <laughs> so I wanted to make Casual. sure that we made the right decision, and Katie. I have our best interest in mind. <laughs> My crispy egg potatoes egg and my egg whites scrambled yeah, and then apple and what is that? Pancake. And oh my egg gosh. Egg whites on the side. That is an apple cinnamon because pancake. Look at this! What is that? I don't think it's big enough to share with me. Am I gonna have to get my own? You have to buy your own. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. Randy dragged me out of bed this morning at 7 and that normally is not too early for me but I'm so tired. I almost didn't come out of bed. Um, but I got my butt out of bed because I'm on a cut and I need to be committed so we are headed to the gym right now to do cardio and I might do a little bit of like weights. I'm thinking just like an upper body pump. Get ready for the expo. <laughs> And um, as you guys know, I don't like to do my cardio fasted, so I'm gonna eat this apple on the way, grab some coffee, come up here, and then get all beautified for the expo. So we shall see you at the gym. Okay guys, this is what we gotta work with today. It's actually a super nice little gym. We got some machines, and then cardio. So I'm gonna jump on this and do 15 minutes of hit, and then do sports. Holy swollness. Oh, those muscles. God damn, Katie. I just got ready. I probably look like a different person. Do you know? Um, we are about to head out to the expo. Randall and Sarah and Live Fit are going to come pick us up. So we're actually going to work the Live Fit booth today for a little bit, which wasn't planned, but we all figured like why not so we're gonna work the live fit booth and then we're gonna head over to one up and it's gonna be a super fun day and that's it and oh yeah for breakfast I had um some cottage cheese and some strawberries and I try not to order room service while I'm here because it can get very expensive so um we had a great workout this morning I had uh 15 minutes of cardio done and I got like an upper body pump so my flexies will be on point and uh, yeah, so we'll see you at the expo. Here we go. This is my third Olympia ever. Third? Yeah. Second with you guys. Right? Is it? Yeah. Dude, time flies, man. I know. I think this might be my third too. Time flies. Here we go. <laughs> Should I be vlogging right now? I'm such a terrible YouTuber. This sucks. Just went down to the ground. Oh! Thank you. oh. We ready. Hello, they're beautiful. Oh, we got you Excuse us. Uh, Pre workout, maybe do it. Where's it with? Where's it with?
Fried rice. If you don't eat all that rice, I'm eating some. Um, get away from my rice! <laughs> uh, I just met Cass Martin. She's my idol. Like, I love her so much. I'm still fangirling so hard. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, we're here at our hotel eating. <laughs> and I got some fried rice with tofu on top. And um, what did you guys get? They both got a tuna salad. salad with tuna and it's already almost gone. How was your expo? How was Espo? Espo. Great first expo with one of nutrition. Yeah. So glad that we had each other. So much fun. And Heidi, and it was really fun. It was good. How about you? Liza fun. Liza fun. Liza fun. And I'm gonna take all of this, dump it on my fried rice. That was so good. On our way to the expo for day two. Here with Randy. What's up, guys? And um, we just woke up, ate breakfast, got ready, and drank a lot of coffee. I don't know why I'm super energized today. That's good. Yeah, I hope I don't crash later. Uh, and then we are going, well, we're on our Uber right now to the expo. So if you are there, I'm excited to see you, and we'll see you there.
getting stuff for the YouTube channel. If you don't mind, say hi. <laughs> Come on, give me the real moves. Like, I need to pump up like... Let's see. Uh, what kind of music should I play? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. I'm going to get copyrighted for this. <laughs> Wait, the hair. <laughs> Go ahead, push it back and chew it. Thing like it ain't nothing to it. Shake, should it shake that ass, girl? <laughs> I like doing it like so Play ugly my on purpose. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um. I am back at the hotel from Olympia and I just wanted to say that I'm just so, I'm always like, I always get like emotional after expos because it just brings you back to why you're really doing what you're doing. Um, and I feel like this expo, especially more than past ones, um, it just really hit, hit home more like that that when I post things to social media, like, I don't, I don't exactly realize the impact that it has on people until things like this, or like when I run into them on the street, or like, you know, um, when people send me messages, but there's something about seeing them in person, like meeting them at expos like this, that's just like, you realize the impact that you have on them, and um, I'm just really like, almost like speechless because of the people that I met today. They were so inspiring. I met people from like major weight loss success stories. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like almost gone <laughs> from this weekend. Um, crazy weight loss success stories to like this couple who had five kids and they were still going to the gym every day and figuring out how to be fit and live a healthy lifestyle. And, um, from those people to like competitors to power lifters which is a whole new audience that I never um, have reached before so that was really cool um, to just people who have been dealing with bullies at school and or like internet bullies and you know just the stories that people share with you at these expos even if you just meet them for a couple minutes or like 30 seconds it's like it's weird because like 
they feel like they know me personally because of them watching my YouTube channel and them following my life and my social media, which is just so awesome because when they come and they meet you, it's like you skip over like the whole beginning phase of a relationship, like a friendship, and you just get right into like, it's just like really, I don't even know if this is making sense. It's just really like it hits home because they, you skip over the whole like, making friends part like the beginning phase and you just get right straight to the like to your heart you know like people come up and they they just they just go oh my name's blah 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 you have changed my life you've really inspired me you've made me lose this many pounds or you've helped me I've learned so much you know and it's just like for them to just say that to you it's it's weird it's it's weird but it's just the, the best feeling in the whole world like I don't even know if I'm making sense <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, um, it's so cool. It's so cool. And someone even asked me today, he was like, how is this like for you guys being up here and people coming to see you? Like, is this, what is it like? I'm like, it is just the most rewarding feeling and the most humbling experience um, and the most empowering because it just like I'm just a normal person sharing my life on social media and the fact that me simply sharing my life is helping others and actually making a difference in people's lives that's just the most empowering feeling that you can ever have and um, so I just wanted to say like if you ever feel like you're scared to put something out there or you don't want to share a certain part of yourself because you're worried about what people will perceive it like or you're worried about how it's going to be taken by others or you're worried that they're not going to accept you or that they're going to think you're weird or whatever. Yes, there might be some people who do that and actually there will be. There's always going to be haters. But if you are able to help one person, then you've done your job and coming to things like this just really remind you of that kind of stuff like it just reignites my passion for what I'm doing it brings me back to why I started doing this in the first place because you know when you're always on when you're living a social media life it can be very um it can be very disheartening because of all the superficiality that's that's associated with social media like it's a double-edged sword it's a blessing such a blessing but it's also gotten really twisted and mean there's a whole mean side of it so it can be hard to stay on track with your purpose when you're constantly dealing with haters and you don't really know if you're really making a difference um, you don't know how many people are actually reading your posts if it really is mattering um, until you come here and then they come and they make time out of their day at Olympia to come find you and wait in line for hours like what just to say hi to you is just like the best feeling ever and I feel very um, undeserving of it so that's why I said it was weird for me because it's like I don't I'm just a normal person and um, I'm very humbled and flattered that that you guys would wait for me and and just just say hi to me and it's just I don't know. I'm just rambling, but I hope that I hope that my love for you guys is coming through on this video. Um, that's really all I wanted to say is that I know it sounds cliche, but I really do love you, and I really do want to make the best difference in your lives. Um, I want to use the position I'm in right now to help you and to inspire you to be better and to make the right decisions and to just live a happier healthier life all around so um that's it i guess i just i'm very 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 grateful for all of you guys out there watching this video who simply just make time out of, out of their day to listen to me and who are res receptive of what i have to say and it's just very amazing and i'm really really grateful so thank you so much um you can do anything, anything you set your mind to. If you would have told me two years ago that I would be here, I'd have said you were crazy. Because two years ago, I was coming to Olympia with Ryan um, for fun. We bought tickets to the night show. 
we literally had the best time of our lives. It was so much fun. Um, I remember seeing the Live Fit Apparel booth and the team, and I was like, oh my god, that's Live Fit Apparel. And I was telling Rand, I'm like, look, 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 it's Randall and Live Fit. And then I looked over, and I actually locked eyes with Randall, and then I was like, oh, it's so scary. <laughs> Who thinks Randall's scary at first? He's he's very intimidating looking if you don't know him. He's the nicest, sweetest guy ever, but he's very scary, intimidating if you don't know him or if you never like met him or talked to him before. <laughs> so I got very intimidated and um yeah, it's just crazy to to see where I am two years later. So um who knows what the future holds. I always think like I I actually on this trip I've been thinking like back on my past two years how like just awesome they've been and how how many cool experiences that I've gotten to have or gotten uh, but how many cool experiences that I've been able to experience I don't know if that makes sense but um I was just thinking like man if it all ended tomorrow I would be so happy because I've gotten to experience so much and meet so many amazing people um but it's not going to end tomorrow. I'm still going and who knows where I'm going to be next year or two years, you know, like it's just very, very exciting. Um, so don't ever think that you can't do whatever it is you want to do. Um, it's, it's possible. It's there for you to get. It's literally there for you to take if you want it. So just believe in yourself. That is the key. Believing in yourself not being afraid of putting yourself out there, realizing that you literally only have your one life and if you're gonna live it in fear of what other people are gonna think or in fear of failure, you're never even gonna start, then what's the point of living? Because you should live to fulfill your purpose. Oh, I thought of this, I, I actually said this one day in an Instagram caption and I was like, that would be a great quote. And um, it was uh, to, f let, me, let me think about it, what was it? Um, to live a life of purpose is to fulfill your purpose in life. That Katie Cole <laughs> Rio. I don't know, maybe I read that somewhere like years ago and I just thought I made it up, but Maybe it's a famous quote. I don't know, but it's so true. To live a life full of purpose is to fulfill your purpose in life. I truly believe that that's true. Like, if you really live a life of um, purpose, if you have a purpose for your life, you've done your job on this earth, on this earth. You know, like if you truly live a purposeful life, I I really believe that you've fulfilled your duty on earth. So if you ever feel like you're not living a substantive life and a life full of purpose, then you, and you maybe aren't happy, then you should do something else until you find your purpose. Wow, that got deep real fast. Uh, I need some water. <laughs> I'm such a grandma, you guys. Mm. I'm exhausted from the expo, but last night, we went to Top Golf, like you saw in the video, and um, <laughs> I am such a grandma. I never ever go out, and they took me to Top Golf. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go because I'm in Vegas and I'm 24 years old, and I should be doing things like this. So I went to Top Golf. Not that even like Top Golf is just a relaxed place, but I had a glass of wine, and it was actually really nice. I had a lot of fun. Um, granny status though, because now I'm laying in bed and everyone else is at the gym. <laughs> Okay, well, I am gonna wrap up this clip right now. Um, thank you, just thank you so much. I can't, I can't express my gratitude, so thank you. Um, also, I've been asking everybody today at the expo, like people who said that they watched my channel, I was, I was asking each person, I said, since you said you watched my channel, what kind of videos do you like seeing from me the most? Like what should I be putting out more of? And the overwhelming answer was more workout videos. So if that's true, if you guys could just do me a favor and comment below what you want to see. I know a lot of people say uh, full day of eatings, which I did one last week. Um, 
and some people say workouts, but do you like the informational videos that I do, like the short little informational like top five kind of videos, like the top five at glute activating exercises or the top five reason your glutes are not growing, those kind of things, or do you like more of like daily vlogs or do you like workouts with commentary over it or do you like a mixture of everything? Um, yeah, so let me know please and otherwise I will see you guys next time I pick up the camera. I don't know if I'm going to film tonight. I don't even know what I'm doing tonight. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and now I'm babbling. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.